welcome to the Reselling Minute with your host, Froggy Flips. Welcome back to the Reselling Minute where we uncover the top reselling stories from around YouTube and social media at large. I am your host, Froggy Flips. Tonight's top story, as quarantines have started lifting, some thrift stores and Goodwills in certain areas have began opening, as seen in thrifting videos by people like Uncle B's Old School Flips, Two Dudes Picking, and SC Thrifted Treasures. If you do live in one of these lucky, lucky areas, be safe out there, friends. Speaking of places opening up, the Illinois governor has made some amendments regarding the shutdown of certain small businesses, which means that Pete, the Craigslist hunter, can open up his shop, the Trading Post, on a one customer at a time basis. So if you've missed Craigslist Hunter's interaction with customers, those videos are back in full force. But if you're worried that you won't get your ruby and honey fixed for the day, make sure you check out Craigslist Hunter's TikTok, Cuteness Overload. Drew from Profit Monsters turned a seemingly ordinary Facebook Marketplace pickup into an epic private pick. So if you're like me and you've missed garage sale type haul videos, make sure you check out this doozy from Profit Monsters. According to this Instagram post from the Homeschool Hustlers, Kevin, the Commonwealth picker, was caught sleeping on the job. But honestly, who can blame him? When this is all over, all I want to do is drive to Virginia and take myself a nap in that cozy little Commonwealth cabin. Burgundy Sales may have started a trend lately when he wrapped his way through an eBay What Sold video. Dapper Tiger was seen attempting the same thing until he was promptly shut down by Mrs. Dapper Tiger. And speaking of rapping, Jacob from Midwest Bargains recently put out a new video with a brand new intro featuring a reselling parody of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The cleverness in these reselling videos is so intense lately, I'm not sure I want things to open back up. Yeah, I still do. We're going to cut now to executive producer Mrs. Froggy Flips where she has been working on a story concerning the seedy underground of the thumbs down. Now I myself have never really worried about the thumbs down. I just figured people were watching videos upside down and got confused. However, it turns out there may just be sinister forces at work just beyond those monitors. Let's go now to Mrs. Froggy Flips. Love of my life, you are on. I recently did some digging into the history of the thumbs down. It's widely believed that the gesture originates from the gladiatorial fights in ancient Rome, in which the destiny of the gladi gladiator was decided by the crowd. Thumbs up, he lives. Thumbs down, he dies. However, this is a misconception. Thumbs downing is actually an underground movement led by one man and one man alone. Johnny Thumbs Downer. I actually had the opportunity to speak with Johnny and here's how our conversation went. Mr. Thumbs Downer, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I have a few questions about your Thumbs Downing movement and what led you to this. Well, I don't like that. First of all, would you say that you're an angry person? Bad question. Well then, what would you say drives you? I would say a combination of jealousy, ill will, and probably good old fashioned piss and vinegar. Interesting. Um, are you married? Do you have any friends? Do you have lots of friends? I'm sure you do. Oh lord no. You're probably the first real person I've spoken to in 12 years. Do you have any hobbies, um, besides thumbs downing? Yes, I enjoy blackball voting and calling anonymous non-emergency police lines. Um, you're sort of a nefarious character. Um, have you ever been in trouble with the law? I did once do time for counterfeit fast food coupons. Which actually reminds me, I'm going to have to cut this interview short. I have a Yelp review to write. Well, it's been a real pleasure to talk to you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh... Can I get your phone number? Oh, heavens no. I'm a married woman. Could we get security over here now? Thank you, my dear. Chilling, chilling expose. As I stated last week in a video entitled Reseller Trivia, I would announce the winner of said game in this episode of the Reselling Minute, and I will make you wait no longer. The winner of Reseller Trivia is none other than Dan from Art Vandalay. He got them all right, and he was the quickest. So congratulations, Dan. You certainly know you're reselling YouTube trivia. I will get a hold of you shortly to get your prizes sent out to you. Also, I'll make sure to do an Instagram post with all the answers later today, just so you can see how close you came. Thanks everyone for playing. I love a good eye-catching thumbnail, and Redneck Resale are definitely doing their part to fill my feed full of fun. They've recently started doing these fun little cartoon thumbnails, and I just wanted them to know their efforts have not gone unnoticed. Great job, guys. 
The DC Picker was a no-show to his own livestream last week, leaving many scratching their heads as to John's whereabouts. However, he did re-emerge later in the week with an epic Blue Angels flyover livestream that quickly gained him 2.2 thousand views. DC later announced that he was leaving reselling behind in order to focus only on jet flying videos. I think he was kidding, though. No! Harry Tornado successfully completed his 30-day 30 30 video challenge for the month of April. He also reached the impressive milestone of 30,000 subscribers during this process. So congratulations, Josh, on both accounts. Well done, Harry Tornado. Now, normally during this time, I like to give a 1,000 subscriber shout-out. However, today we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to do a $100,000 shout-out. Dave from Quarterbash reached $100,000 in gross revenue on his eBay account. That is quite the feat, and Dave is a great guy with a great channel. So if you have not yet, make sure you check out Quarterbash on YouTube. Now last week to end the broadcast, we named off eight reselling YouTube channels that I had not yet mentioned, but still deserve a watch. Tonight, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. These are eight reselling YouTube channels that if you have time this week, make sure you check out if you haven't already and show them a little love. This week we have Flips Finds Fun, Old School Picker, Mountain Man Treasures, Rev Resale, Jackass Retro, Cajun Roots Reseller, Chicken Patty in a Bun, and Thrifty Esme. Like I said, I'll link all these channels down below as I did last week, and if you have some time this week, head on over. Now before I sign off, I would like to leave you with one final thought. You see us as you want to see us, in the simplest terms, in the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain and an athlete and a basket case, a princess and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Reselling Minute. All right, guys, that is what we got for you tonight. As always, if you have a story that you'd like to see us report on, or if you would like to be a special correspondent, email us, froggyflips81 at gmail.com. So I want to thank you all for watching, and from all of us here at the Reselling Minute, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. Love ya. Bye.